Hey, what's up? Let me show you how to upload your assignment to Gradescope. So you should have gotten an entry code for Gradescope. So once you're in the course page, you should see a couple of assignments listed right now. Assignment one and assignment example. Don't worry about assignment example right now or ever, because it's not an assignment that you have to submit. It's just an example for this recording pretty much. So once we clicked into the assignment, that we want to submit to. Um, yours might not say anything yet because you wouldn't have uploaded anything, but let me just go through this. Uh, we'll say resubmit, yours should say submit. We just want to click on the drag and drop bit. Once I've clicked on it, I can submit my example. So depending on the assignment, you have to name it specifically, say a1.py, a2.py. For this one, the auto grader looks for example.py. Don't do example.py for your assignment. Make sure to name it what your assignment has to be named. So I'm going to add, open this one, upload it. It's going to take a second. It's going to say it's um, submitted successfully and it should send you an email every time you submit as well, just to make sure that it has gotten it. So once this run, um, through the auto grader, we will see some results. Everything you pass, it should say pass, or there will be a plus symbol there. Um, and everything you failed, it will come up with a red text here, and it will tell you which test is failed. So on here, at the moment, the layout might not be what it looks like on your end. But yeah, there's a bit, this is pretty much the error that exists in the code. Um, I would recommend just copying this out to a text editor, something like Notepad, um, or if you're on Mac, if you get Sublime, you can get Sublime on Windows as well. Um, and then you can actually read it. But with the assert, assert errors, um, usually they're quick fix and should be no problems. So once you fix the errors, you can resubmit, click on the drag and drop again. Now I'm going to put in a version that is working a little bit better. So if you want to see how that process was done to fix the code as well, um, we're going to have another video up on that. <laughs> so stay tuned. So once that's submitted, you can see now I'm passing a few more tests. Um, some are going to say passed, and then the ones that have failed are still failed. Um, if you've submitted something that's, um, say you've changed your code, and you submitted something that is now working a bit less, you can look through your submission history as well. Um, and also, of course, you can look at the code that you just submitted, um, or just look at the download submission, so you can revisit something you have submitted in the past. Um, if you know you change something that you didn't want to and you don't know how to get it back. But this is where we're gonna do our marking. So whatever grade so scope says you got um, in terms of functionality is what we'll accept. So make sure to upload your assignment here. Um, that way we can actually mark it. Yeah, that's it. All right, well, good luck.